funding is a very real issue. Year-on-year-on-mental, economic, social and political impacts are massive. A lack of cost-effective flood alleviation solutions have left many areas undefended against flooding. ABIL was formed in response to a flood defence concept that was formalised in the guise of a product in 2001 and has been continually developed since then. ABIL are covered by a number of patent applications in relation to the product. This process of development has seen analytical and research-based involvement from organisations such as HR Wallingford, Cambridge University, Selbon Composites Limited, Bureau Happold and Avon Technical Products. ABIL wanted to maintain the standard of the first stage analysis at HR Wallingford and to test the product in a real flood setting. A dry dock with a natural base of silty soil capable of being filled with millions of tonnes of river water, it proved to be the most appropriate site to simulate a real life flooding scenario. The dry dock at EEST was where the very first Ark Royal was built in 1918. The facility boasts three dry docks and a wave machine capable of creating 10 tonne waves at various speeds. The Aqua Barrier Unit is a cost effective flood defence system and can be used in temporary, demountable and permanent scenarios. It has been designed as a real alternative to traditional construction methods. This particular video concentrates on the temporary demountable application. The Aqua Barrier Unit is plastic, hollow, rigid and self-filling which stands 1.5 metres tall by 2 metres deep and 1 metre wide. When full of water, each unit weighs approximately 3 tonnes, which gives the system the necessary stability and resistance against sliding and overturning. A unique rubber seal has been developed in conjunction with our commercial partners Avon Technical Products. The seal provides a watertight joint between barriers and the ground infrastructure. Specially designed bolts can be used to improve the overall stability of the system should ground and site conditions require it. Three lockdown bolts are located to the rear of the unit and a pair of lockdown bolts are located to the front of the units. These lockdown bolts preload the rubber seals so that the seals are effectively engaged prior to flood water coming into contact with the system. A hydrophilic material which expands up on the contact of water can be used to create an effective seal against an irregular surface. In this case between the block wall wall and the abutting barrier unit. A temporary demountable flood defence system, as the name implies, can be taken down and removed when not required. They tend to require some permanent infrastructure works and in the case of the aqua barrier this is a simple cost effective concrete ground slab. The slab acts as a permanent foundation and can be designed to accommodate existing ground conditions and hydraulic loads. The walls of the dry dock were adapted to demonstrate typical deployment scenarios. Block work abutments were constructed to represent existing properties or existing flood or boundary walls. The concrete ground slab can represent an existing road, footpath or car park. Because the barrier is lightweight and simple to deploy, requiring little or no major lifting equipment and can be erected by a small, non-expert labour force. The only tools necessary are a spanner, a tyre soap and a simple barrier tensioning tool. The 14 barriers here were deployed in just under an hour. Once in place, the barriers are allowed to self-fill. Four holes in the front face of the unit enable the flood water to fill the units. In this current test, the water took approximately 4 hours to rise 1.6 metres in height, 100 millimetres higher than the barrier, mimicking an extreme flood event, an actual overtopping of the barrier. The barrier remained structurally sound and successfully held back the flood water as the water rose and fell in height. Any water that did overtop was easily pumped away using small pumps. 
ABIL are able to offer a complete turnkey service from feasibility stage to detailed design of the barrier installation and construction management thereafter. In association with their design consultant partners, the design can incorporate existing drainage infrastructure and flood defences and foundation design. ABIL's operations staff will oversee and project manage all construction works as required by the client or customer. ABIL offer a complete flood alleviation service ranging from the supply of product through to full flood alleviation scheme design, construction and maintenance. Fully trained staff can support the deployment and storage of the barriers. Through our partnership with Lombard, we could offer public and private sector customers up to 100% financing of capital and revenue costs of complete flood alleviation schemes. Any contract placed with ABIL will be underpinned with the necessary risk insurance. Through the development of a new portable flood defence product and through the implementation of a new total service delivery process, ABIL has conceived a complete alternative solution to national and international flood alleviation requirements.